So usually we'll have a, a packet or uh, some specifications that we're asking for, and this kind of helps guide the process along the early stages. Uh, we, we have certain things we need to know about the line, the container or containers that the customer will use to fill. We need to know about the product and uh, those, all those factors go into uh, configuring the machine in such a way that it works for the customer. Yeah, so usually we'll have the customer send us the product, we'll, we'll go through an analysis, and figure out what density it has. Since these are volumetric fillers, we need to kind of work our way backwards into the weights that the customer wants. The other things we're looking at for the, are the properties of the product, like how sticky it is, or how well will it run through the machine, especially the tube on the machine. Knowing this kind of thing ahead of time helps us size things correctly. And, uh, there's a lot of different configurations and settings that help uh, different products flow through the machine a little easier. So, Well, the next step is, after we established baseline, to do a real test. So we have a test facility here at Multifill where we have our demo machine and equipment. Customer flies in the night before, the next day we run the machine together with the customer uh, and verify everything what we have theorized about upfront. So after this verifying process, you know, the customer knows exactly about all technical details, not only of our equipment, but also how their product behaves, how accurate the fill weights are, and all these kind of things. Well, after we have product testing, we, we start the process of laying out the machine. Typically that's in uh, 2D drawing. A lot of times we'll correspond and interface with the customer. They'll have a 2D drawing of their line and we'll, we'll try to overlay our machine into that drawing with a basic configuration um, based on those things that we've asked for up front. And that helps us size and configure the machine in a simplistic way so that we know kind of what the overall dimensions are going to be and the interface dimensions and also what specifications. When they sign off on that, we, we start our detailed engineering process. So. It can be a very standard application where we have everything more or less off the shelf and the engineering takes maybe a couple of weeks just to verify, do the bill of materials and all these kind of things, release it for production. If there is a little bit more involved process needed, for example, to uh, design a distribution system where we not only, for example, go into one tray but two trays at a time. We need to do uh, a design process for this distribution system which is always custom built and that may take a few weeks longer. So um, after it's fully engineered, we have our, our products fabricated. We have them brought to our facility and they're assembled here in the shop. In fact, they're assembled by the same technicians that are going to be going out and doing startup with the customer. So they're really familiar with the product. We'll have the machine shipped out to the customer site and uh, we'll have a technician arrive shortly thereafter to do uh, a startup. Um, we'll connect utilities and uh, everything that way. And then we'll do a basic setup of the machine and the technician, our technician will do some on-site training for the personnel that will be operating the machine. We do have the capability of creating video training and we can provide that if necessary so that they have a prolonged ability of going back to those training videos. If you have new personnel, a lot of times that's helpful. We have 24-7 customer service. There's always somebody you can call. There's always a person answering the phone. Uh, luckily for us, our machines are pretty reliable. 80 to 90% of any questions we can do over the phone, but if need be, our, one of our technicians is on the road immediately to help out.